All right, guys, Neil from Neil Comes Recording. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Depends on if you've been here before. If you haven't been here before, then I'm Neil. I run this channel, and uh, hopefully you'll find it useful. If you do, please do subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, all that stuff. Yeah, it'd be good to have you on board. A couple of videos ago, I did a review of the Insta360 GoTo. You can find it here or there. I can't remember which one. Love it. Highly recommend you go and check it out. So check out that review. In that review, it shows you how to use the Insta360 GoTo. And it also shows you a few of the basic shooting functions in the app. This video, I'm going to do a complete walkthrough of an edit in the app. The shooting functions I've already covered in the other video, so go and watch that. Then come back and watch this. It's a complete walkthrough. First things first, you're going to want to download the app. It's the Insta360 app onto your smartphone, tablet, whatever you're using. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is connect your Insta360 Go 2 to the charger. So you just press on on that to connect, press to connect. And now the camera is connected to the charger. And now the Insta360 app will be able to find the Insta360 Go 2 camera. Okay, so we're going to open up the Insta360 app. And then we're going to hit the little camera icon in the middle. And then it should connect to your Insta360 Go 2. Then you're going to press join. And voila, all connected. Okay. And this is where you would then go and film something if you wanted to by using the Insta360 app. But we're not going to be doing that today. We're going to be using the editing functions. First things first, we're going to want to download some video to our smartphone or device so that we can edit it. So if we click on the icon in the top right, so if you use a button second from the left, we can download these onto our phone. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to hit confirm and download those. Okay, so now if we go to local, we have those three clips actually on our phone and in the app. So now we don't even need to use our Insta360 Go 2 anymore because the video that we've downloaded is now on our phone, independent of the actual camera itself. Just easier to edit that way, not reliant on being connected to the camera. Okay, next thing you're gonna to want to do is click on Stories, which is second from the right in the bottom. So we're gonna click on Stories, and this is where we're gonna edit our clips together. So we're gonna to go to Create Story, and this is where we can select where we want to take our clips from. But we're going to use local. So we've got the clips that we've just downloaded. Depending on which order you want them on, I want it in this order. One, two, three. Selected. So I'm going to show you how to do manual editing first. And then I'll go back and show you flash cut afterwards. Okay, so we're going to go to manual editing. Okay, so now we've got our edit screen. Okay, so we've got all our clips. Okay, one after the other. I just did some random B-roll just a minute ago of making a cup of coffee, so it's not me out on a wakeboard or anything like that exciting, unfortunately. Probably should have done that in hindsight, but we've just got coffee, unfortunately. So if you make, want to make the timeline smaller, like you would on every, any other smartphone function, just hold and pinch outwards or pinch inwards to make it bigger or smaller. You've got like, your three clips that you can select individually, or however many clips you'd have. If you wanted to add another clip, you just use this plus icon on the right hand side. You can change the ratio of the edit so you can have it vertical if you wanted it or one by one, nine by 16, 16 by nine, however you want it. Okay. So we'll just leave it at 16 by nine for now. If you want to top and tail your clip, so if you click on the actual clip and then it will give you the two little icons each side, then obviously you can pinch to make it bigger. And then you can just move it in and out to edit your clips and the same the other side. So you can just bring the end in into where you want it to end. Okay, you can either do it that way or you can do it another way. So say with this one, we want to start there. Then you can just go to the split function and it will split the clip in two and then just choose the bit you don't want and just delete it. Delete. Again, you've done the same as you would have done, but you've just done it a slightly different way. And we'll use the other method. Just to put the lid on. Okay, and we'll just do the last one. Let's use the split method. Select that. Delete. Okay. 
Okay, and again, split, select, delete. So there's our edited film. I say film in the loosest sense of the word. Appreciate this isn't my most cinematic production, but hey ho. So if you had your clips in the wrong order and you wanted to rearrange them, all you would do is click and hold and then you can just move them around. Okay, so I want that to be there. Just click, hold, drag. Okay, so I've shot all these clips in 50 frames per second. So if I slow those down by half, it should give me some natural slow-mo. Now, if you want to know a bit more about frame rates, check out this video here that I did a while back and it'll explain frame rates a little bit more. Theoretically, if I slow this down by half, it should give me slow motion. Okay, so let's just play it back at normal speed so you can see. I mean, it doesn't, obviously it doesn't need slowing down, but just for the purpose of this, I'll show you how it works. Okay, so you click on that clip, click speed, and then we're gonna go entire clip for the purpose of this. Let's slow it by half. Okay, and now you can see as it plays through, it's slowed it down. Nice and smooth, natural slow-mo as it should be. Now say we wanted to speed this clip up, which we probably would. Let's say we want to speed up four times. So you just move your cursor and there you go. Really easy, really easy to do this. I like it a lot. So say this one, again, we want to speed it up. Probably click on the clip. Go to two times. And that last one is is what it is. Can't really speed that up much more, can you? Got nice quick clips now. A good practice, at any point when you're editing, if you click on this in the top left, it'll take you back to here, but it will also save your project. So you won't lose it if your phone crashes, etc. And then if you go to drafts, it'll take you back to your edit. Cool. Okay, so if you want to add transitions, there's these little buttons in between each video. Click on that, and then you can choose the type of transition. So let's just choose a blur right. And then you can also choose your transition length. Okay, we'll just leave it at 0.5 for now. Like that. Uh, really easy to use. Let's just, just choose this one. All sorts of different transitions. Cool thing is you can choose a transition, and it will show you what it looks like. I quite like that spin. So we're going to have that. Okay, so we'll keep that tick. Bosh, there the transition's done. Nice and easy. Okay, so if we scroll across to filter, then you can put filters on your video, so like a color grade. Oh, there's a, like a comic one. And again, click on it and it will show you what it looks like. So you can see before you add it to your clip. So find one you like. That one's quite nice. You know, it's okay. And then the cool thing is, if you want to apply it to all your clips, so you don't have to go in and individually do each one, just click apply to all, bosh. Okay, now if you play it through, you've got that filter on all of your clips. You can also go to adjust and you can do some minor color corrections in here. So let's say we want to bring the exposure up on this clip. Then we would just do that. Contrast, add a bit of Contra don't really want to actually, so we'll leave that one. Saturation. You can desaturate it a tiny bit. Color temp, you can either warm it up or cool it down. Highlights, you can bring up the highlights if you wanted to. We bring the shadows down. Okay, so some cool stuff there. And again, Bosch, apply to all, bang, done. Are you guys with me? I hope it's not going too quickly, but it really is very simple to use. Okay, so you probably want to add some music, right? So if we click on this little music icon down here, then we can choose from all of these tracks. So let's just choose, I don't know, easy going food track. That'll do. So we're gonna choose that one. Okay. But if you wanted to change the start and end point, then just click and hold the music track and then just move as you would the video clip, okay? Now I'm not gonna on this occasion, it starts in the right place. 
But if you did want to do that, that's how you would do that. Okay, so now you've got music as well as your clips all colored with some music. And that's it, pretty much. It's that simple. Then you're going to go to export in the top right. And then it will give you your export options. We're going to export it at 1920, 1080p. Go to export. And now it will export it onto your smartphone, tablet, Android, iPhone, potatoes, potatoes, blah, 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 blah. And then you can also share it to your social media straight from here as well. Although I would recommend probably uploading it from your phone then directly from here. I would say you probably get a slightly better quality. I haven't 100% checked that out. I pretty much just made that up, but that's what I would do anyway. Let's go back to create story, right? Choose our clips. Selected. And this time we're going to click on flash cut. Okay, and we're going to choose, let's say medium. So we're going to speed up the clips a little bit. And it's going to make the video for us. So you don't even have to do it yourself if you can't be bothered. It's all right. It's not amazing, but because you can either do it that way or we're going to click on surfing. We're going to use a surfing theme. Use this theme. Okay, so we're going to choose our four clips. It doesn't really matter for the purpose of this. And we're going to go to preview. It's going to render it. Now it's difficult to change making a coffee into a surfing style video, but you get the general gist, okay? Let's choose this epic ride. Use this theme. Again, preview. It'll make it, again, it's making coffee, not feeling the rush at all, but you get the general idea. If you want to make a quick edit without actually doing it yourself, then you have got that flash cut function and it will do it for you. That's all I'm doing today, guys, in terms of showing you the app. Hope you found it useful. Really easy to make, really simple edits on your smartphone, Android, iPhone, tablet, whatever. Really simple to do in the Insta360 app. If you haven't already, go and check out my review of the Insta360 Go 2. Go and buy yourself one via the links there because that'll help me out and it'll help you out because you'll get one of these which are awesome Insta360 will like me which means I can make more of these so everyone's a winner if you have enjoyed this give it a thumbs up leave me a comment below let me know if you have any questions if you found the tutorial useful if you hated it whatever just leave me a comment below if you're not already please do consider subscribing to my channel i think you'll enjoy it i make some good videos we review some cool stuff if you're on youtube anyway you may as well join this channel and get reviews and stuff that's it for this one that's how to use the app catch you in the next one Thank you.